So we're going to do a series here on uh, using Yeoman et al. to uh, create a backbone project. And we're going to break this up into multiple videos. Uh, this one we're going to just kind of get set up. And at present, um, the older Yeoman generators have not all been upported to Yo Yeoman 1. So if you look on the page today, uh, and we're talking March 19th, 2013, this will probably change by the time you watch this, um, for beta, uh, for the 1.0 beta, they support web app, Angular, Mocha, and Testacular. So more will be, be become available as they get ported over to new version. So they show these two workflows. One is where you just uh, do a generic web app and then install the specific components you need with Bower. And then the other one is where you'd use a generator. And it, for example, the Angular generator is available today. So you can maybe save some steps. In any event, let's go ahead and give this a try. Um, and, and this is all very cutting edge beta and stuff's sometimes broken, um, but it's very doable. And, uh, and I'm glad they're the Yeoman Grunt Power developers are all kind of moving forward with all this. So we don't want to complain. We just want to kind of go with the grain and work with what uh, what's available to us today. So let's uh, go ahead and create the project. Uh, and then the first thing I'm going to do is uh, just do a web app, a generic web app, and uh, this will open the familiar Yeoman page and we're going to include SAS uh, Twitter Bootstrap. So we already have the HTML5 boilerplate, jQuery and Modernizer. We elected to get the SAS version of Bootstrap. We will be doing Require.js and there we go. We've got. Um, okay, now before I do anything, make sure you pay attention to this. It's easy to forget to do this. You want to npm install, so it's created, and then Bower install rather, npm install and Bower install. So it's created a package JSON, which is going to be uh, what is used when you do npm install, and it's created a component JSON, which will be used for. Bower install. So let's just cat those real quick. And you can see it's got a bunch of grunt stuff. Um, and there's our Mocha, uh, which is the test framework, and require JS. So some of this stuff won't be installed by Bower because it's already available from Grunt, I think. Um, and then in our component JSON, we have our SAS bootstrap. Well, that's not surprising because we said yes to the question on the uh, Yeoman prompt and we want to add some things to this so I'm going to op open this up now and um, and I'm going to add some some other libraries that I know we're going to want so um, well first of all I should show you that there's a way you can search for dependencies online. Something's going on with my Google here. And that is over here, Cinder site. So we could say we want um, underscore and there's underscore. And we know we're using require.js, so if we search under AMD, we can see there's a backbone AMD, underscore AMD. I had some problems with the backbone one, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, so another way we could do this uh, would be to, well first, go ahead and do Bower help, and you can see what's available, but there's a search. And if you search for AMD, you'll get similar results on the command line. So uh, this is an optional uh, optional 
alternative if you don't want to use the command line. <clears throat> okay, so it looks like we have backbone AMD underscore AMD, um, and then there's a backbone AMD low dash. Um, let's go ahead and edit this component JSON file to get the things I know we're going to want. So um, we're going to want the underscore AMD, and we'll just say latest to all these for now. <clears throat> and this is going to cause a problem today. I'm sure this will get fixed, but uh, well, you'll see in a second. And then I want, I for this thing, we're going to use local storage to um, to save our backbone data. So we're not going to use a REST server because it's just too much um, too much setup for, for a tutorial, I think. So we'll specify that version. And then what else do we want? We want Sinon latest. And we want to get the shim that makes Sinon stuff available on Chai. Do I have all my commas and stuff? I believe so. So now, um, let's see, see what I did here. Okay, so I haven't run uh, npm install and Bower install yet. So let's see how long this takes. I might have to uh, do some editing of this video. I'm on a pretty fast connection. By the way, when you do the npm install bower install line, uh, you should really be in a place where you've got a good connection because it's doing a lot of downloading. Okay, so as you can see, we had an error here when we tried to do backbone AMD, and it shows it here. So if we list out app, uh, let's see. If we were to list out app components, we don't have anything because uh, that basically blew up our Bower install. So we're going to edit this file and take that out. And we'll install that manually. And while that's going on, I've already uh, found the raw file. So we'll just... Um, We'll just save this, and this probably isn't upgrade safe, unfortunately. But right now, this is um, what we'll have to do, and we'll deal with that later. So here's our application. Here's our components. So we'll call this um, Backbone AMD. I'll put this in the show notes too as far as the, the URL goes. And we'll just save this. So now we should be able to list out app components. And we've got our stuff here. Um, and I believe that's probably all we want to do for this video. Next time we'll, we'll go through setting up the required JS AMD um, with all these things and also maybe get our our tests set up because we've got Sinan which is a mocking stubbing testable framework and uh, we're going to want to incorporate using that with Sinan, um, rather with Mocha and Chai. So those will be our next uh, steps and then we'll get into probably experimenting a little bit with back Backbone uh, maybe we'll do a video just kind of tinkering around with Backbone, get familiar with that. Although there's a ton of resources, Adi Asmani has some great, uh, he has a book, Backbone Fundamentals, and the To Do MVC uh, repo, which is, which is also great for reference. And there's a ton of other good resources for that. So we'll just kind of lightly go over Backbone and then try to build a simple app. I think what we're going to do is use the, the format that we had in the rapid prototyping um, so so we'll basically have a form and a table and maybe we'll we'll have users that can that can be created updated and deleted um, simple crud stuff and that'll be the goal of this whole series and that's about it <laughs>